Hi, Melissa. Uh, what book are you going to talk about today? Okay, today we have Fall to Babylon. It's subtitled Three Temples, Moon, Sun, Star. And, um, the reason for that, supposedly Dion Fortune was going to write a, a book called Sun Magic and then Star Magic after Moon Magic. That's a rumor. Uh, my friend Paul Dunn is in the Society of the Inner Light. He told me that... Um, Dion yeah, Fortune supposedly was getting into Thelema. To, um, she wanted to write uh, Sun Magic and focus on Horus. I don't know if that's true. But he and I were originally working on this book together. It was called The Secret Temples. And uh, um, it had to do with the moon, sun, star. And Kenneth Grant talked about that too. The moon, sun, star phenomena, he calls it. He says Crowley covers all three. And Dion Fortune might have gone there too we don't know but paul dunn and i <laughs> had a rocky friendship for years when we were working on this he decided to publish some of his ideas that we were working on and uh, i felt kind of left out you know he wasn't gonna put my name on it and i feel a lot of women get marginalized in magic we do a lot of work and i felt you know that not getting credit i don't think he meant it that way <laughs> but you know kind of hurt so we stopped talking for a year and I decided just to write a, fi a fiction book. I took these ideas and wanted to see where I can go with it. I based it on the chemical wedding, that was my idea, and what I could do with these three temples. So I wrote this book and that's, that is, I think it's a cute book. <laughs> um, I'm not sure all of my ideas came across well. But I gave him a lot to think about. I did a lot of research and I researched a lot about what happened to Dion Fortune and that a lot of her work was destroyed and that really bothered me. And um, I have a lot of the history in these letters between Paul Dunn and I and Alan Richardson, another author on Dion Fortune. And we shared a lot of um, the rumors and <laughs> what goes on, what went on behind the scenes. I haven't published this yet. This one's called Vanishing Bonfires in the Garden of Venus. Um, I haven't published it yet, but um, one day I hope to. And I hope they're okay with me publishing this. But after this book, Paul Dunn and I try to work again on the book. We spent a year writing The Magical Systems of Alistair Crowley and Dion Fortune. And originally we were supposed to have it published by a publisher. After waiting two years, and the publisher stopped talking to me, <laughs> we didn't think it was going anywhere. He didn't want to self-publish it. So this book has just been uh, sitting out there. I would love to publish it one day, and I hope he lets me. Until then, I took my half of the book. <laughs> we wrote side-by-side -side chapters. So I published mine as Alistair Crowley, One Woman's Approach. And I spent a lot of time on this, and I really would like to unify the book again and put it out as a whole because then you can say you can see where I went with my half of the book and I really wanted his to kind of balance off each other. Now, he was a man writing about Dan Fortune. I was a woman writing about Chloe. We wanted to capture differences and do something different, you know, something no one has done before. So I'm hoping one day I can publish this. But back to Vaughn Babylon. This is the older version. I have a nicer cover. This was a one I just threw together. Well, there's some differences. I um, corrected things over the years, updated it. But, um, you know, I, I really think there's something here if you want to know more about the unfortunate, the things that, that are routinely discussed. Back when I was younger, in my 20s reading about her, I didn't know any of this history. I didn't know a lot of her works were burned. I didn't know there was controversy um, in a group that they, they didn't like her going into paganism. They wanted to bring her back to uh, Christian roots, which doesn't make sense. There was a divide. Um, I know her husband, before they divorced, he was into paganism. She got into paganism. She supposedly got into Salima. We'll never know now. A lot of the history was lost, and I wanted to bring that back up, you know, have people discussing it. 
Uh, we'll never know the truth. But, you know, it's good to talk about what might have been, you know. <laughs> it might have been the Sun Temple, the Star Temple. And um, this book is just a way to explore that. Uh, Paul Dunn and I, we still talk. He, no other uh, books in the works, but who knows. And maybe one day um, we'll get some of this out and publish it. But this one's available if you like. And my uh, Crowley book I talked about. So I hope you check it out. Right, thank you.